Welcome to Networking Rx, a podcast devoted to helping business professionals like you enhance your networking skills in order to become more proficient giving and receiving quality business referrals and improving the overall quality of your life and the lives of those around you. The Networking Rx podcast is a production of AmSpirit Business Connections, an organization whose mission is to empower business success through networking. One of the things I have discovered as we've moved along in and out of the pandemic, hopefully out of the pandemic, um, that's pretty optimistic, depends who you talk to, um, is that there's really been a proliferation of, of networking groups. And, and maybe it's not so much a proliferation, maybe it's just me in that before the pandemic, I wasn't using Zoom. I wasn't really connecting with people outside of my Amspirit Business Connections world. Um, didn't really know of things. Yeah, I knew of BNI and, and some organizations out there, but you know, it seems every time I turn around, there's somebody who has got a different spin on a networking organization. And I don't, I don't really consider any of them competition. I think we all serve the world in our own way. Um, but I just, I find it interesting. I love talking to people who who have these organizations and uh, I find I can always learn something from them. It's one more, certainly one more person out there that knows about me. So it's, it's never bad. Um, That leads me into our conversation today with Matthew. Well, just go by Matt, Matt Dubois. Um, See, I screwed up your first name, Matt. I got your last name. Okay. (laughs) Uh, My family calls me Matthew. Both. Okay. I'm not your mom, Um, (laughs) but but Matt is the owner and founder of Veets, which is a virtual networking organization uh, that brings together relationship-focused business owners and professionals from around the world. Um, and he knows firsthand the power of relationships, and, and it makes a, a point to connect with with because uh, he makes a point to connect with everybody in his Veets organization. And uh, I was introduced to Matt a while ago. We had a nice conversation. I think this was before Veets. And then I was talking with somebody else and they said, oh, you need to talk to Matt Dubois. Um, you know, he's got this Veets thing. I'm like, OK, you know, I've spoke with him. I wasn't aware of it, but I would love to reconnect. And uh, here we are. So welcome. Yeah, thanks so much. It's uh, yeah, great being a part of uh, your bigger network there and and uh, being able to connect over the years. And yeah, great to yeah. be on this call. Well, you know, somebody told me there are seven billion people on this planet. So mm-hmm. it's so there's really only one network, right? We're in the it's just we all are have different parts of it. So um yeah. we're just kind of a little bit of crossover here. Um I guess tell me about Veets, how you got into it. How you know, um let's start, let's have that be the jumping off point. I know you have uh the business uh do cr- do good creative, which I think is uh probably still going. Uh, but anyhow. Yeah, no, what you mentioned earlier is perfect kind of segue into kind of how Veets came about. Um, so, uh, you know, I've been in a, a BNI group for a long time. And uh, when I started my graphic design business back in 2017, uh, I soon, like right after I started it, I joined BNI. And this was kind of my first business. And I didn't fully understand the world of networking and how you could build relationships. And this is how you could get people to trust you to pay pay you for your services. And so um, B and I kind of taught me about networking and it really kind of opened up my mind to it. I was like, wow, this is amazing. You know, all these small business owners are getting together and building these relationships. And when I had my nine to five job, I had no idea this was going on. Um, so I was really kind of excited about it. Um, but at the same time, as I was networking in person and going to different events, uh, you know, I ha- I was also uh, building relationships with people that I had maybe met at a conference or met in online communities. And then I would do these one on one calls routinely over video. And I would have these relationships with people that maybe I'd never met in person before. And it, it stood out to me that I was like, wow, I have a really good relationship with this person that I've never physically met in person. So and some of them, some of those relationships were as strong or stronger than kind of the in-person uh, relationships I had. And so it occurred to me that I, I was like, wow, is there a BNI style thing that's online where people are just using a, an online call to network like we're doing here in person? And I think at the time back, you know, 2017, 2018, when I had the, the thought, uh, I don't think there was a lot going on online because people weren't as comfortable as they are today on Zoom. But um you know, the idea kind of percolated 
for uh, the next few years. And then when the pandemic happened, it was, that was the catalyst where a lot of people made these transitions. And, and for me, it was, um, wow, this, you know, this idea I had where online networking, let me get something going. So um, try not to overthink it. You know, being a graphic designer came up with my logo, did a website and just invited my existing network and said, Hey, once a month, let's do this thing. And uh, started, started from there and just kind of built up. And, and now we're, now we're doing five days a week, which is kind of, uh, unique from when, when I tell people they're pretty surprised and, uh, I guess it's, yeah, unique comp compared to other groups, but so far so good. And it's, it's been great to bring uh, networkers together online. Well, it's like I said, we all kind of serve the world in our own way. Um, there are people, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a BNI basher. Um, they are very regimented and the people, there are people who like that. Um, mm -hmm. it's like people go to the gym. Some people like to go to the gym and have somebody scream at them to do whatever they need to do to do their push-ups, <laughs> And some people like to go to the gym and they're disciplined enough that they don't need that. Um, and, you know, mm -hmm. your, the, your, your tribe, if you will, is built up with people who resonate with how you do things. And if people don't resonate with that, they're off doing whatever else. I always tell people my, our biggest comp, my biggest competition, I'll speak for myself. Mm -hmm. My biggest competition is what I call apathy. The person who thinks they don't need to network, that's my biggest competition, right? If everybody, there's 7 billion people out there, you know, yeah. most are probably working in some sort of small business or smaller business type capacity. Mm -hmm. um, that's just, that's how the numbers shake out. And, um, you know, people just don't, don't necessarily, necessarily see it. Um, you know, you talked about your virtual and in-person uh, connections. Just a guess. What do you think? And I'm, I don't know what the right answer is. Um, what do you think the percentage of people that you know are the the uh, per percentage of people, you know, virtual people that you haven't met in person versus those that you have met in person and might see regularly? So you uh, like like within Veets, like the people that I've met in the organization or yeah, Veets are just in general because um, I'm well, I'll, I'll you know, I'll let you answer the percentage, but. I stop and look at my network. I had a call yesterday with a, uh, a woman who's involved in Am Spirit. She's out of Pittsburgh, and we have a really good relationship. And I have to remind myself, I have never met her mm -hmm. face to face. Now we have great conversations. She'll text, um, you know, talk. Or she just got engaged. Talk about her fiance, who I know uh, virtually. Never met him either. Um, but I have to remind myself, I've never met this person. Um, and I think there's a lot of that in my, in my network. I, you know, I've got this networking hub. I think where I may have invited you or maybe, maybe, maybe where we originally met, I'll have to look, I got notes on it somewhere. Not that it matters. Um, but there's 250 some people who've been in and out of that. And, um, most I have never met in person. Right. Well, that's, it's, it's, uh, you know, the, the name of like Veets will, people ask like, what does Veets mean? What is that? And, um, it, and what it is, is essentially what you're talking about meeting people, but virtually, you know, it's virtual meets and kind of mashing those two words together. And yep. I think of it as what we're doing these days where we've never met in person, but I, I feel like I have a real good sense of who you are. And I, I think the video and the audio together do quite a bit. And, uh, when I've met somebody that I've I've known them online for a long time and then I meet them in person, it's interesting to me how there's not much difference when I meet them in person. Like uh, a lot of people might know um, Nick Smith from the H7 community and other places. Yeah. And uh, I, I knew him online for a long time. We did a ton of one-on-one -on -one calls and we just had this really good relationship. And then he came out to California. We met up and, and got some drinks and uh, you know, kicked it right off. It, it, it felt totally normal. It felt like we knew each other, you know, there wasn't like a, Oh, this is it, awkward and strange now that we're in person. It was, you know, so I, I, that tells me that this, these video calls we do, it builds a real relationship. And because you can't shake hands, um, it's, it's a, it's a smaller detail than we might assume. Um, but, totally agree. Yeah. Totally agree. I think yeah. the only thing you learn, the only thing you and I would learn by meeting up is how tall one another is. That was, that would be the only thing, right? I will come into people and I haven't met Nick. He's just down the road in Cincinnati. Um, and I should just make a point of just on my way through or just swing down and just say, Hey, um, 
yeah. that I would discover how tall he is. Not that it, not that it matters. Right. Cause <laughs> right. you're right. We can, I, I, you can read so much from people's faces. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, yeah, I totally, I totally agree. I just think it's interesting how we're building these relationships and, uh, you're right. They are, they're very real. They're very real. Um, which I, I think is a good thing. It's, you know, yeah, there's, you know, you know, that being said, you know, I think that, yeah, these online relationships are real and and, and they can be really strong relationships uh, almost a, a, as much as the in-person stuff, if not as strong, but there is still unique things about in-person. And although Veets has kind of a, a virtual angle, right? We we're bringing people from Florida and Texas and California and uh, Canada and all over the place. And so we're intentionally trying to bring people together that are virtual workers. And now that the pandemic has kind of opened up this opportunity to broaden their, their client base and their relationship base, uh, we want to, um, help with that. But, um, since, like you said, the pandemic is hopefully kind of teetering off and, 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 and we can do these in-person things now, uh, I've been going to different in-person stuff and there's there there is a uniqueness. I, I can't really put my finger on what it is when you do meet someone in person and it's um there's it's really nice to kind of have that longer kind of conversation where you're not committed to you're not looking at the clock as much maybe. Mm-hmm. Um but I also think about the things you can do <clears throat> in person that you can't on on Zoom like I have this idea for Vitz where you know we would do it just like for folks here in California, close by, like, let's do a, a net, uh, a network walking event where we go out to a trail and we all kind of get the blood flowing and we're walking and talking and we've got a whole group together. And you can imagine the the kind of the buzz and the, the feel of that versus mm-hmm. um, an online thing. And you just wouldn't be able to do something like that. So I think there's a place for both. Um, and I think this, because of all these networking groups online, there's, there's a nice opportunity to have this hybrid approach where you get a little bit of both like folks in your area versus folks uh, around the country in the world. And well, yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously there's something to being in person. I mean, I, I joke about it. It's kind of a joke, but it's true. Babies still come from the same damn place. Right. I mean, zoom hasn't changed any of that. So um, in fact, not about babies, but I remember in the early days of the pandemic or that, kind of that fall we're coming into that fall things are kind of loosening up right hey we flattened the curve you know and we hadn't um but i remember restaurants were kind of opening up you know it was kind of silly you wore your mask going and then you could take them off like that made all the difference in the world (laughs) uh and we'll laugh about these things for eons um but there was somebody that i knew there my wife and i walked in our kids were with us and there was somebody i knew and she just came up and gave me a big hug um, gave my wife a big hug. And, that, and when she left, I looked at my wife. I said, man, that felt good. Right. You know, it was just something about that, you know. Yeah. Um, and I'd seen her before and you know, before the pandemic and, you know, never really thought about, okay, yeah, she's just kind of a hugger and that's what she does. Mm-hmm. Um, but there's just something about that proximity, you know, right. that physical touch. Um, but we still get a lot here. Uh, in yeah. fact, I have people here in town, I'm in Columbus, Ohio, who will say, hey, can we go grab a cup of coffee? And my response is, you know, I really, I'm not a coffee drinker anyways, but not that that matters. Um, yeah. I just say, I really don't like to do cu- cups of coffee. Well, why not? It's like, it's because it's 90 minutes out of my day. What do you mean yeah. 90 minutes? I'm talking a 30 minute cup of coffee. Yeah, I got to, I got to get up, stop what I'm doing, get wherever you're at or wherever, you know, halfway in between. Mm-hmm. Um, and then you got to do it in, in the reverse. So it's really 90 minutes. And in that 90 minutes, I can you know, have a conversation with Matt and then get off of it and have a conversation with Nick, who's in a completely different time zone. Mm -hmm. Um, And it's just, you know, so you kind of have to weigh things, right? You know, the the virtual versus the, uh, the in-person sort of thing. Um, Mm -hmm. I don't know. We're going to be learning a lot in, in the, in the years to come. I really think so. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, I would say like the, you know, like the in-person networking events where you've got 30, 30 people in a room and the kind of the buzz that comes with that and that, you know, getting the drinks and the food. I mean, that that that's kind of a no brainer as far as like drive out and, you know, sure. take the two hours and stuff like that. Um, 
you know, I, I think that's where like the hybrid type stuff comes in where you maybe you meet a whole bunch of people online, but then once a month or every other month, you go to a big networking event where you see them in person. And yeah, I, I like the idea of the hybrid where you get, you get the efficiency of online these days, but you, you know, you, you also get to kind of touch base and shake hands and, and do that. Yeah. So get a little bit of both. Well, you can get, I, you know, you can get plenty done online. Right. Um, and sometimes, you know, people will want to have the, the cup of coffee and it's like, can we start with a zoom call? Because mm -hmm. what you don't want to do is you don't want to drive halfway across town or wherever, you know, anywhere outside of the office to meet with somebody and find out that, oh, okay, that's what you need. I, I could have done that with two introductions, you know? Right. Um, and it's, and it's, it, I'm not shaming them. It's just. Mm -hmm. Had we known, because I mean, they're probably just as frustrated. Hell, I had to meet with Frank. I, you know, he knew the two people I needed to talk to, anyways. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, like I said, we, you know, we're we're learning. What are some big challenges you run into with people as far as networking and just trying to, because you know, not everybody gets it, right? Right, right. Yeah, yeah. There's a handful. Um, uh, I would say. Uh, Let's say, you know, I think a big one uh, that I've been noticing is uh, there's kind of two sides to it, but it's uh, it's kind of it's being real like and giving your pitch, you know, on, on one side of the spectrum, it's uh, you do want to kind of give your pitch. You want to talk about what you do, who you are, where you're from, all that stuff in a nice, concise, clean, rehearsed way, you know, you know, in a way. But you um, at, on the other side. You want to be human and, and conversational and, and you don't want to be a robot that's just pitching and, and, and sounding like you're trying to sell something. Right. And so I think there's um, <clears throat> I think it's it's tricky to balance that and, and find somewhere in the middle where um, you join networking events or you go on a one one on one call and you're able to in a, in a casual way be human, and, but also explain what you do Um so that people feel like they get to know you, but also understand what you do. And so um, I, I see pitches on both sides. Like some people will do talk like, Hey, tell us what you do. And and they'll kind of run on for, you know, two and a half, three minutes, four minutes, or, and they'll just kind of, and at the end of it, you're like, okay, I kind of get what you're doing, but I'm not, I still have more questions and I'm not quite sure. And then on yeah. the other side, it's um, it, it, it sounds robot robotic and it's, and it's like, uh, you know, I wish, I wish you would be a human for a second and just tell me, you know, so yeah. finding no, that balance. Yeah. I, I tell people there are three reasons you don't get referrals. You know, the first is relationship. Um, you don't have a sufficient relationship or maybe you're a jerk or whatever, but that's the, but once you get beyond that, uh, the second, the, the third is, is that people really don't know how to talk about you to other people. But the middle one is, is that people don't understand what it is you're about. Mm -hmm. That's it. They have no idea. They'll come in and it's like, oh, we take a holistic approach to making sure that, you, you know, people reach their highest potential. <laughs> well, what the hell is that? Right. Yeah. What do you um, do? So that's the yeah. one spectrum. Right. And yeah. then you have the other spectrum where it's kind of going on and on. And I, I almost feel like what they're doing is, is like, I'm going to keep talking until somebody gives me a damn referral. Right. They just keep <laughs> listing things. Yeah. Um, and I think sometimes that they come into those situations where they think, OK, I'm here. It's a networking event. Matt put this thing together. He said it would be great. I'm going to give my pitch. And if I, you know, you're, they're waiting for somebody to jump up and say, I want to hire you. And that's mm. just not realistic. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> um, um, gosh, I had, had a thought about that, but I think I'm losing it. Uh, ideas come and go. Um, now I hear you. I, but, now with, yeah. within Veets, do you do any kind of coaching to help people along those lines or I guess describe the whole process, uh, how your meetings work, if you will? Yeah. So I would say we're, I mean, relatively, we've been doing it for two years, but we're still early on in kind of, um, I guess our offering, so to speak. So uh, our, our, our go-to process is, is, is really getting you into networking um, activity. So our process is we start with a quick five minute intro just to get everybody on the same page and talk about what we're going to do on the uh, throughout the hour. Then right after that, we jump into breakout rooms and we do three 12 minute breakout rooms and, and the breakout rooms are about three or four people per room. So we keep it pretty small on purpose so that 
um, you can have these kind of closer conversations. Cause what I've found is that when you have a, you know, obviously if you have like 20 people in a zoom and you try to go through everybody, that's one type of feel. If you've got, um, six to eight people, that's a different type. And if you go down to three to four or a one-on-one, each of those has its own dynamics. Each person gets a certain amount of attention. And so we, we make it small. Um, and, and then we do the, the three breakout rooms because we, we kind of want to mix it up and allow you to kind of have these different little groups to, to connect with. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the gist. We do three 12 minute breakout with uh, breakout rooms with five minute intermissions where everybody's in the main room. And then, uh, and then we wrap up at the end of it. So that's interesting. That's okay. Yeah. Um, the website is uh, www.veets.io. I guess veets.io. You don't, every, everyone knows the www should by now. Um, uh, veets is V E E T S dot I O. Um, people can reach you through that. Is there, go to that website, they can get a hold of you, Matt. Yeah, me personally, um, I'm I'm on almost all of the calls. So if uh, yeah, a good way to connect with me is is to join one of the free calls, which is you know uh, Monday through Friday. We you can if you go to the the Veets website, um, almost all the buttons will get you to the calendar. And the calendar we try to make it super easy to join on. So we we literally have the Zoom call ready to go. So you don't you don't actually have to register to, to get onto the call, but you know you can and let us know you'll be there. But I'm on most of those, so if you if you connect with us at Beats, I'll I'll most likely be there, and um, I like to yeah build relationships with everybody that joins in, so that, that's a good way to get a hold of me. Okay, well great. Well, I really appreciate uh, your time today. Um, what's on the horizon for Beats? We just we're just getting started, right? Yeah, um, you know we're we're we just uh, started kind of our membership portion, so we've we, we've got a, a nice group growing. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're looking at a lot of different, uh, things that groups do. Like, you know, I love the idea of, uh, you know, a book club and uh, mastermind groups and all these things, but we're, we're kind of taking it one step at a time, making sure we do things in, in, in a very methodical way that makes sense for our community. And, um, yeah, so right now we're, we're just going to continue connecting people and, and, uh, and growing. So. It's great. I'm, I'm excited for you. Uh, we'll talk again. I'm sure. I know. We'll talk again. We'll meet at some point. There you go. There you go. Thanks. I appreciate you having me on here. Thanks for joining us on the Networking Rx podcast. Please put what you've learned into action today and let us know if you have questions, comments, or ideas for future topics. You can email them to us at podcast at amspirit.com. That's A-M-S-P-I-R-I-T dot com. Finally, so you never miss an episode, be sure to subscribe to the Networking Rx podcast through iTunes, Overcast, or however you receive your podcasts. Now get out and network with someone. The Networking Rx podcast is the copyright production of Amspirit Business Connection. All rights reserved.